Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tonight on the SEC ESPN Network, the curtain rises on the 2021 college softball season. And it's time to play ball as the 2021 season is underway. It's done Sari work. The off-speed pitch drops in for a strike. LSU from softball last spring to softball right now. And McCrary. Deluge that hit Baton Rouge today. Andrews. Waits for that to come to her. Field. And she belts she this one deep to right field, and it is up against the wall. You can kiss that baby goodbye. Off the scoreboard for a home run. Taylor Pleasance quickly gives LSU a 1-0 lead on a rising line drive off the right field scoreboard. She is as complete a ball player as you'll ever find wear a Tiger uniform. She is smooth as silk at shortstop, makes any play, makes all the difficult plays, and she will just take this ball and bounce it off of the scoreboard in right field. She had four homers last year in 24 starts, and she homers in her first at bat in 2021. Seen it before. She hits one deep to left center field, back into the darkness. It's over the wall. Pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. A drive over the right field wall by Pleasance, a drive over the left field wall by Doyle. Back to back bombs for LSU 2 0. Great piece of hitting there for Doyle. She jumped all over that mistake. Valero had her almost out on the pitch before. It was a good curveball that Doyle probably shouldn't have swung at, but she was all over. I guess this was a rise ball. It was definitely up, but it was up and out of the park. Doyle had a couple of home. Well, the coaches have had to manage a lot of different scenarios this year. Georgia Clark pokes that one on a line out into right center field. She's on with a base hit. Not many. 18 driven in. Cummins thought about it, but laid off of it, and the bases are loaded. And that hits her. So Tidwell gets a bruise and an RBI. Out to left field. This one is poked. It's playable and caught by Peyton Williams. Sonseri went upstairs. Down in order then. All right. Back-to-back -back walks now after Andrews was retired. Back to play here. Oh, that's well done on the backhand side. Superb by McCrary at shortstop. Another changeup, and it floats in beautifully for a call third strike. And that was bad. Well, LSU doesn't have anybody from East Baton Rouge Parish. Whitney Tate. There's the changeup, and it's lobbed into center to right center field for a base hit. The first of the game by McNeese, and Poulard did a nice. Doyle makes the play, and after the lead. That's hit sharply off the glove of the second baseman. And a base hit for LSU to get it started. Talk to in the run-up to the season. This is going to be a very difficult play. No chance. Andrews was slowing down as she crossed the bag. The lightning protocol is in effect. Lightning has been detected. There you see the tarp coming on about an hour and a half or so ago and uh, now leaving, and we are just about set to resume action after lightning and rain. That's lined into right field for a base hit. Poulord coming to the plate with it, holds the runners to a one base advance. Amanda Doyle is two for two tonight, a solid single to right. It was picked up by the hitter's count at 2-0. and oh. Grounded to the third baseman coming to the plate for the force. The throw down to first base in time for the double play. How about that, Magnese? Five, two, three on an inning-ending double play. And the Tigers load the bases but get nothing out of it. It started by Brindley. Duvall, the catcher, gets it down to the first baseman. Beginning of something special. And Sinceri has been something special tonight. In golf ball? Well, I think we're going to have a video review in this game mm -hmm. as experimental this year for the SEC. 
No runs and one base hit for McNeese. Sinceri sticks the glove out, makes the play, and that retires the side. That's slicing off down in right field. It's off the glove of the right fielder. Sonseri looking at Tarina gets the come on. Sonseri on her way to third, slides and is safe. A triple for Shelby Sonseri. As she sliced it down into the right field corner, the right fielder Poulard got a glove on it but couldn't control it, and then Sonseri was off to the races. Yeah, Poulard's got to know that that ball's going to continue down that line, and he knew Sonseri at the minimum was getting a double. Sonseri coming to the plate and will make it standing. You see everybody kind of elbowing Sanseri coming in. No high fives. That sounded like a slow pitch score. Morgan Cummins rips that one on a line to center field. Roster at 5-1. Oh, Ooh, what a play nice by snag. the pitcher and then throws it away. Times is safe at second. Whitney Tate leaning across her body with an acrobatic. Ooh. This is belted deep to center field. That's up into the bleachers. Pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Why does she need to bunt? Why does she need a shark game? But I'm saying she handles the bat very well. A drive up into the center field bleachers. Plates two teammates, and the Tigers move out in front 7-0 on this blast, and it did not take long for that ball to get to the third row of the bleachers in center field. That was a mistake. Too much of the plate, and she just jumped. Here in the fifth, Aaliyah Andrews drops one on the grass in center field. She's aboard. They're running around those bases. And there's the first... What's going on here? Is that a no pitch? I think so. No pitch. I, Andrews is going back to the dugout, so. Leaving early, I suppose. Evidently, she left prematurely. Since then, Sinceri has retired six in a row. This could be trouble, and it drops between Tidwell, the second baseman, and Pleasance, the shortstop. That was a parachute drop base hit. The Tigers came from Briggs with two aboard in the fifth. There may be a play. Did she get it? Yes, she did. Now the throw down on the tag. The runner is safe at second base, but a heck of a play by Morgan Cummins up against the screen, somehow getting the leather of her glove between the screen and the ball descending. Terrific play. I thought maybe she the screen was going to. Yep, she did it. I thought maybe the ball was going to hit the screen before she caught it, which would have nullified. McCrary hits it on a line right into the glove of Amanda Doyle. The hitter. I don't know. I'm not quite sure either, but. She's a heck of a hitter. That ball is driven out into center field. And I think it's out of here. It is. We have had no call from the umpire, but Sonseri lines it into the center field bleachers, pucker up and kiss that one goodbye. And that's the end of the game as Shelby Sonseri follows the triple in the fifth inning with a home run in the sixth. She swings a very powerful bat. And Beth Serena talks about she's the first one here and the last one to leave all the time. So LSU gets home runs from Pleasance, from Doyle, from Briggs, and from Sonseri tonight. As we take another look at this, it's hit on a line and in to the first row there, just above the white line. So LSU is a winner on opening night. That wraps it up. We'll have more action tomorrow, more action on Saturday and Sunday as well.